grade. This is Mrs. Tidwell. I'm an instructional coach in Coppell and at Cottonwood Creek. Today I want to talk to you about picking a good fit book. When I'm thinking about picking a good fit book, I like to compare it to food because who doesn't enjoy eating some good food? So the first type of book that's out there is a steak book. I want you to take a minute and put your thinking caps on and I want you to think about the food steak. When you have steak and you compare it to a book, how are they similar? I'm going to give you some thinking time. You might be thinking, well, steak, it can be a little tough. It can be hard to get through. And you often need assistance to cut the steak because you have to use a really sharp knife. And a steak book, or a a steak book is very much like a steak. It can be really hard to get through. Maybe you can't sound out all of the words or you don't know the meaning of all of the words and you have to ask an adult to help you and it takes you a really long time to get through. That's what we call a steak book. I want you to think, well, what's a mashed potato book like then? Mashed potatoes are kind of opposite of steak. I'm gonna give you some thinking time. What could a mashed potato book be like? Think about what you know, your schema on mashed potatoes. You might be thinking, well, mashed potatoes are really easy to eat. You don't need assistance. Your parents or an adult, they don't have to help you eat mashed potatoes. And you can get through them so quickly because they're so soft. Well, how does this compare to a mashed potato book? Well, a mashed potato book is really easy. Maybe you can breeze through it in just a few minutes. You know all of the words and no words challenge you. And you absolutely don't need adult um, help or assistance to get through a mashed potato book. So a mashed potato book would be way too easy for you. Which brings us to our last type of book, a pizza book. Well, everyone just loves pizza, right? A pizza book is a just right book because everyone kind of loves pizza. You don't really need a lot of assistance to eat pizza. You might need to chop it into smaller pieces depending on how messy it is. It can be difficult to eat because all the toppings might fall off or the cheese is really stringy. But at the same time, you, you don't have to have like a fork and knife to eat it. So a pizza is very similar to a pizza book because a pizza book might have a few words that you don't understand, but you can sound it out. You can use context clues and you can figure out what the words might mean. You really don't need teacher assistance to get through it. It takes you a, a good amount of time to get through. You're not breezing through it, but it's not taking weeks to finish. So when you're trying to find a good fit book, I really want you to stick with the pizza book. Finding that just right book that you know most of the words, you don't need a lot of assistance to get through it. You're not breezing through it really quickly, but you're also not spending weeks reading this book and stumbling through the whole time, through the whole thing. So when you're picking a good fit book, I want you to really think about steak, mashed potatoes, and pizza. Well, it's time to read. So as you gather your things, I want you to think about how to pick a good fit book for you. Well, first, I want you to find a good pick a good fit book in your house, the virtual library, Mac and Via, or Epic. Then I want you to find a place that you can concentrate, that you don't have a lot of distractions. Then I want you to use the 20 minute timer and I just want you to read the whole time. Just read, 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 really building that stamina. And I don't want you to stop until that timer goes off. Okay, Cottonwood. I think you're ready. Go grab that pizza book and find a good spot. And I just want you to read, read, read. Bye.